Before we get into today's video, I want to tell you all about my Twitch channel. I'll link it in the description. I'm going to hope to stream over there about twice a week, depending on time constraints. First stream will be tonight at 10pm GMT. Go follow and maybe watch when I go live. Now, I know a few people you all may watch have covered this and it's probably going to lose me even more subscribers, but I wanted to cover it and give my opinion on the matter. Let's get right into it, shall we? Mother 38 is arrested in front of her children and locked in a cell for seven hours after calling a transgender woman a man on Twitter. A a mother was arrested in front of her children and locked up for seven hours after referring to a transgender woman as a man online. Three officers detained Kate Scatel at her home before quizzing her at a police station about an argument with an activist on Twitter over so-called dead name. The 38-year-old from Hitchin, Hertfordshire, had her photograph, DNA and fingerprints taken and remains under investigation. More than two months after her arrest on December 1st, she has had neither her phone or laptop returned, which she says is hampering her studies for a master's in forensic psychology. Writing on online for a mum's that Mrs. Scatow, who has also been served with a court order that bans her from referring to her accuser as a man, claimed, I was arrested in my home by three officers with my autistic 10 year old daughter and breastfed 20 month old son present. I was then detained for seven hours in a cell with no sanitary products, which I said I needed, before being interviewed, then later released under investigation. I was arrested for harassment and malicious communications because I called someone out and misgendered them on Twitter. Confirming the arrest, Hertfordshire Police said we take all reports of malicious communications seriously. They the case is the latest where police have been accused of being heavy handed in dealing with people who go online to debate gender issues. Sitcom writer Graham Linehan, who was given a verbal harassment warning by West Yorkshire Police after transgender activist Stephanie Hayden, reported him for referring to her by her previous names and pronouns on Twitter. It was complaints by Miss Hayden that led to both the arrest and injunction against Mrs. Scatel. High court papers obtained by the Mail on Sunday detail how Mrs. Scatel is accused of a campaign of targeted harassment against Miss Hayden, allegedly motivated by her status as a transgender woman. The papers claim that as a toxic debate raged online over plans to allow people to self-ID as another gender, Mrs. Scatel tweeted defamatory messages about Miss Hayden. She is also alleged to have used accounts in two names to harass the fame and published derogatory and defamatory tweets about Miss Hayden, including referring to her as male, stating she was racist, xenophobic and a crook, and mocking her as a fake lawyer. Mrs. Scatel denied harassing or defaming Miss Hayden and said she holds a genuine and reasonable belief that a human cannot practically speaking change sex, but Deputy Judge Jason Capel QC issued an interim injunction that bans her from posting any personal information about Miss Hayden on social media, referencing her as a man or linking to her former male identity. Mrs. Scatel last night declined to comment. Everything, literally everything this woman was arrested for, these same people engaging in themselves. Don't support mass unchecked illegal immigration? Well, you're just a racist xenophobe somehow. They even misgender and call any trans person who doesn't toe their party line a fake trans person, and yet nothing happens to them. I see it on my timeline all the time. Hell, if you disagree with feminists you can't possibly be a real woman, you just have to be a man pretending. Look, do I support TERFs? Absolutely not, but I also don't support arresting them because they have the wrong kind of thinking. If you want to convince someone that you're not what they think you are, the best way to do that is not having them arrested for fucking disagreeing with you. So what if they call you a man? If you call a cis man a woman, he won't get you arrested or banned. Hell, I don't even think that would count as misgendering. This woman had her fingerprints, fucking DNA and identity taken, all because she disagreed with someone online. That's not getting into the realms of authoritarianism. That's full on authoritarian. When you can be arrested for having the wrong thoughts, then you know you're pretty fucked as a country. If you would have said this 10 years ago that this would be a thing, literally everyone would have laughed at you, yet here we are, and there's no signs it'll stop. As Tyler the creator said, how the fuck is cyberbullying even real? Just turn off the screen or put the phone down and walk away, and that's the best thing to do. If you can't cope with mean people, then the internet isn't for you. Either fucking suck it up, grow thicker skin and ignore them, or get offline. The world isn't how you want it to be, it's a dangerous and unforgiving place. You have to adapt, improvise and overcome all of this shit. Thank you guys for watching, remember there's a GoFundMe to help support me, consider helping me out thank you again hopefully i will see you in the stream later tonight remember guys if you like what i do remember to hit that subscribe like buttons and consider supporting me on patreon or buying some merch from my t public store links to those will be in the description thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one